guys, look at this turbo. Make sure to sub in, like the video, and let's go. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another video. Today is Saturday night. So today's objective is to move this radiator right here and to move this boat right here, which the head of it has sheared off and uh, put in our new spark plugs, put in this exhaust manifold so we can um, put this turbo on here and uh, get ready to, like just to temporarily um, put everything together because we gonna have to weld like some bongs and all that on there for like our O2 sensor. Well, yeah, O2 sensor, our wide band, and also for the blow off valve, uh, which is gonna probably be up in that area right there. So I gotta remove these spark plugs, remove this boat. And these transmission lines, I'm thinking about doing a rubber hose. I was trying to do a lot of research. I thought about doing a, a, a true cool, if I'm mistaken, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I know I probably gonna cut about probably right here maybe I don't know probably right here uh flare it and then just get like a rubber hose and just have it neatly come down and all that so it could be like more flexible and that's gonna be pretty much it I might end up getting like a radiator uh with an electric fan on there probably mounting it in the back or mounting it up somewhere here on the sea uh what that do so yeah so guys we had spent a lot of money at o'reilly's i got spark plugs heat wrap uh cleaner i also got this um band clamp but anyway we're gonna see how everything turn out my brother he's gonna do the air clean we're gonna make sure all that's cleaned up I'm gonna clean this car detail real good. You know, anyway, he doing the oil pan and all that. His objective is to move this, uh, move this for me, spray this thing down, clean it up real good, take this oil pan gasket off. The sad thing about it, um, damn, O'Reilly's did not have this damn gasket. O'Reilly's, any auto parts store at, like, they don't be having nothing nowadays. It's kind of crazy to me, but. I might end up getting this off of Amazon or somewhere. So, let's go. So guys, we got the uh, key rivets out, which is pretty easy. We got the old gasket, as you can see, it's pretty damn flat. And then this thing been on this truck. Um, ain't no telling how, how long. There's um, two screws in here. And I should've took this piece out right here. Uh. That's the oil right there, yeah. So guys, got the old, old cinch out. Should come out, yeah. Got the old one out. We're gonna end up changing this out, getting a new one. And probably gonna have to get a new old, old ring too. Which is probably not in a bad condition at all. Yeah, pretty flat, yeah. Probably get a new old ring too, so. Yep. And this gonna get sprayed down. Like I said, let my brother do it, so yeah. I just felt like just, you know, helping. You know how, you know, you having somebody else do it, but you want to, you know, put your hands on it too. Just trying to make sure, knowing, you know, they can do it, but still, yeah, that's me. So guys, we got the old transmission lines right here. Got the front cooler removed. And now I need to remove the spark plug and that. Um, from the transmission, the lines I might run is uh, probably, uh, AN6, I believe, or if not, I might just run some rubber hose uh, neatly on the side and that will clean everything up on this truck. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. So let's get these two out, man. So, guys, I'm underneath the truck. I'm finna remove this pickup tube. Uh, and then this pan right here, and I'm going to call it a night. I just want to look under here. Um, and then I'm going to just give a breakdown for tonight, what we got done one more time. 
and tomorrow Sunday we're going to try to get everything going want to get everything going tonight but uh we missing some things so let's get to it So guys, being that we already under the truck, um, we had removed the two transmission uh, cooling lines. Like I said, I might end up upgrading to a uh, 6 AN or might just use the original and uh, just regular uh, transmission hose, like some good ones from uh, Summit Racing. Also got the oil pan drop, as you know, and I went deep into here it looks very good under here to be honest um the cylinder walls look good everything just looking good and this is like a 250,000 mile truck i know my odometer say three but it's really around like 290 ish or 250 or something i really don't know but um we removed the lines going across and uh let's go on top so guys up top here we removed that stud and we also removed that spark plug. And tomorrow with the help of my brother, he gonna wrap up the exhaust heads and uh, we just gonna go from there. We'll make sure all this is like cleaned up uh, really well. Um, and I think that's just pretty much it. Uh, I thought about just putting a cam in here, but then I said, I'm gonna run it like this uh, so I can uh, run it. And then when I do put a cam in here and all that, and I can tell the difference, you know, uh, and all that, which will be pretty cool and all. But anyway, um, hopefully everything goes well. I need to figure out that oil drain line situation though. Uh, so we can, you know, drill, tap, etc. And that's pretty much it. So Saturday night, probably Sunday morning or so, we should have everything in place temporarily. And then we just gotta get our cooling, uh, our cold side for the turbo. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to cut into these fenders and all. And I wanna put it in the cooler mount. We might have to take this bumper off. Hopefully not, but we might have to. Cause I thought about it sitting across on what it is a bolt right here and right there like just having like a, a structure piece like a metal piece across and then having to sit down right there and it is going to have airflow through these little ducts right here um but yeah so i'll see y'all tomorrow so guys we mounting a turbo right now um i need to figure out this situation right here uh, this piece right here was in the way allowing the turbo not to sit flat so we're going to, have to try to figure something up on this side unless i flip the whole thing but i don't know we see let me see and then we wrapped up the exhaust manifold it don't look too good but it don't look bad at all either nope. so guys we got a clock um this turbo oh you see how it moves see you can you can rotate it so anyway, we want to make sure this is like uh, perfect. Hers, like, that's that should be straight right there. Yeah. Anyway, let's get this. I think we have to do this. I know we have to loosen this up. And I think we have to turn this somewhere. Which way you turning it? This gonna be turned down. We're gonna have it pointing straight down. Oh yeah, it's so looking at a pipe going down. Connected. Yeah. It's not even a key. That's how you know that whole thing. So guys, we just added the turbo and the exhaust. Um, we just got to uh, get a boat, which I got to run to the auto parts store sometime uh, to get that. And we had mounted the intercooler, which we got to do a little bit of fabrication. We got to see what we got to uh, do. I just want to keep everything as uh, simple as possible uh, when it comes to this build. So hope y'all stay tuned for more and let's get to it. See y'all. 